Hello guys, this is Guy the IT Guy. I am tonight I am going to take the Rock 64 single board computer and I am gonna run a speed test on it using the network. Um uh, actually one of the viewers requested it. Um his name is Rob E R T. Shout out there, hey Rob. Um but I'm gonna go ahead and start up the board and we're gonna run some network speed tests to see what the difference is between the RJ45, the USB 2.0, and the USB 3.0. Now the USB 3.0 and the 2.0, they're actually going to be run using my handy dandy little TP-Link USB. It's a 150 megabits, um, but you know the Rock the Rock 64 board, you know it natively will run it with the Android 7.12 system that I've actually got running on this. So, let's begin the video. The network cable, which is your standard uh, Ethernet connection. We're going to start with that first and see how fast our speed test is. So I'm going to go ahead and get that hooked up and we will get going further on into the video here. Okay, here we go. We're now going to power up the Rock 64 motherboard here. And I've got my other keyboard here, my backup keyboard. All right, Android is booting up. I bumped something. I should not have hit the keyboard like that. But, so I just stopped it. So that way I could get on with the process. Uh, now I'm using web tools. A lot of people, they usually like to use Ookla speed test when they run uh, an internet and a network test. Oh, there's my recommendations. Walking Dead. This Spider-Man. And, <laughs> but, uh, Ookla speed test, they do not have a version available for Android 7.1.2 for my device. So I went ahead and I went ahead and used web tools. And now I gotta sling back over. Let's go ahead and open up web tools. And remember we are connected to the RJ45 or the Ethernet. mouse. There we go. Oh, I had to recognize the mouse. There we go. Back into web tools. Okay, and then we're going to go on down to speed test. And first one we're going to try out is we're going to try and down the download speed test. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now. Um, now the connection I pay for is um, it is 150 meg download. Um, right now it looks like I'm hitting about 80. Yeah, it looks like that. The highest is 8606, which um, I'm paying about. I think it's about 60, 65 bucks a month. I only have internet. I do not have the TV service with Xfinity slash Comcast. But uh, and it looks like the highest I'm gonna hit is 86.06. Um, now, when I tested this out last night, I actually did achieve 135. But it looks like there might be heavy network traffic tonight, which you know, the new episodes of TV shows have popped up. Uh, I mean, today's Wednesday, so you know, if I remember right, there's you know, the new episode of Agents of Shield. So everybody streaming that to hell and back. <laughs> And there's probably a new episode of Designated Survivor. I'm not sure. There we go. And our top speed was 8606 on the download. That is for the Ethernet. Now we're going to try the upload and see what the speed is for that. And we'll just go ahead and take a quick screenshot here. Okay. That way we can remember our numbers later. Max speed 262 on an upload? 
Nah. I doubt that. As you saw that I have a new studio set up, but I now have a squeaky chair. I'm I'm gonna have to fix that. Get some three in one oil or something like that. And it dropped, uh, looks like I'm doing a solid 18.97. Oh, it dropped down to 9.6, but that's 0 0.01. That's very negligible. But it's staying at a solid 18.94. Yeah, there we go. Basically, it's, you could say it's 19 or 18 and a half. Uh, you rarely feel a difference between 18 and 19. Now, between 1 and 0... That's that's a big difference. You'll you'll feel that difference. <laughs> okay, looks like we were able to achieve a max of twenty two megabytes and an average of eighteen point nine two megabits per second, not megabytes. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Well, it's twenty two megabytes and that's nine eighteen point nine two megabits, unless uh, unless that's a font error. But it should be a capital M for megabits per second. But it looks like a download 22 megabytes. Okay, next is for the Wi Fi TP Link 150 card. And I'm going to use that on the USB 2.0. And let's see what our speeds are for that. As you can see, I am now on the Wi Fi. And yes, I, my wireless access point is named UNSC Infinity. I'm, I'm a big nerd. And let's go back to web tools. And my mouse quit working. Oh, dead batteries. Isn't that awesome? There we go. I use rechargeable battery, so uh, nice app. Uh, yeah. Oh shoot. Okay, open. I'll take care of all the star throwing later. And back into speed test. Okay. And we're now going to start our download test. And this is the TP-Link 150 megabit card on USB 2.0. Looks like we're hitting a 28 and a half, 29. Uh, we peaked at 30, 24. And that's on the download. Um, I do not know what it's going to be on the upload, though, because um, the upload is usually slower than the download. But uh, I, I have to admit, I have not went in and configured my router yet um, this is just stock you could say this is a stock infinity slash comcast router this, this is the way it re arrives to your house and you just pull it out of the box and you plug it in obviously you know uh, since I did that I have another Wi-Fi access point called Xfinity so that way you know you could share your internet with everybody which is not cool because then that just leaves a back door open. They can just use that to get into your router, go into your system, and get into any computer that they want to. Okay, we got 30 megabits. 3009 was the last count. Max was 3073 megabits per second. And downloaded a total of 210 megabytes. Let's see what the upload looks like. Max speed 74.9. I think you better want to rethink that. That's the, that is the Xfinity slash Comcast speed burst causing that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna let it ride out. Uh, it looks like I'm hitting in about a 16 or a 17. Every now and then I'll see it flip up to it looks like 22 or 24. Um, but it looks like it's holding it steady 16.5. Oh, just bumped up to 17 to prove me a liar. <laughs> 16 and 17 that's pretty good for an upload um i do not remember what the upload is supposed to be but you know i'll take that especially on the wireless i mean it's only a small board computer uh usually i just slide roms over to 
you know, devices like that. I'm not trying to upload YouTube videos using my Rock Chip 64 card. That would just, that would be insane. Or would it? That might actually be cool if I could record the videos directly onto the board itself. Okay, enough of me babbling there. 16.68 .6 megabits was last count. Max speed was 74.9. That was that speed burst that hit it right at the beginning. So I'm going to say that it's average. It's average was 16 and a half megabits per second on the upload. All right. So now we are going to move that TP-Link Wi-Fi card on over to the USB 3.0 slot. <laughs> Sorry about the squeaky chair. I really need to get oil this thing. Okay, now we're in the USB 3.0 slot. Let's back out of the program so that way we get... Oh, let's go back in the network settings, make sure that we are hitting our hotspot. See, like if I come down here to say see all, yeah, I've got a home. There's the Xfinity Wi Fi proudly broadcasting my internet connection. That's probably why I got slow speeds. I'm going to have to do another one tomorrow. Why not? I like making YouTube videos, I find it fun. I don't make any money at it, but I don't care. Well, that's a lot. I made $2.54. That's when I was running my experiment on the monetization. Oh, there's a phone ding right there. There we go. They're trying not to interrupt my YouTube video, which they did technically with the text. <laughs> All right, back over to Web Tools. Into Web Tools we go. Sorry if my voice sounds a little funny. I have had a severe cold, so I have been trying to basically nurse it to health, and that doesn't really help too much when you're the IT guy, especially where I work. Uh, phone ringing off the hook constantly. Oh, look at it. We're hitting 34 megabits. 32, 31. Oh, no, it's dropping off. And I did not even realize that the people outside waiting on me might be hitting my internet. So that way they don't use their data on their phones because they do not have Verizon like I do. I really wanted to try a speed test on the Verizon, but I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'll post another video tomorrow after I reconfigure my router, shut off the Xfinity Wi-Fi, see if I can boost some speed, pull some more speed out of my Xfinity router. Um... And if anybody's curious on how I run my network, uh, my Ethernet jack that plugs into my little Rock Chip 64 board actually plugs into a Cisco 3960 managed switch. So I'm going to have to log into that and make sure that everything is good to go. Uh, make sure that all my ports are open and nothing's tunneling or anything. There's no blockage. Okay. 31.4 for the average on the download on USB 2.0. Doesn't look like it's too much of a difference between USB 2.0 and 3.0. Maybe it's because I only have a 150 megabit card. Maybe it's because my Wi-Fi router is uh, not configured the way I want it to be. I'm going to have to definitely, definitely change that. Looks like I'm hitting 16 and a half. That's about average on the last one on the USB 2.0. That's, I'd say that's pretty satisfactory right there. Uh, I, I can live with that. Like I said, it's not like uh, I upload all the time. Well, which I do, but when I do that upload on the Ethernet and I just hit upload, so I schedule time for it to broadcast out onto the channel, which this one is going to broadcast out right away. Tonight is Wednesday night. I just got done binge watching my designated survivor episodes for the night uh 15.98 that was on the upload that's not bad max speed 174.76 um apparently it's detecting what i actually pay for on the download uh, well see now that's the funny thing about comcast they've got the speed boost so i pay for 150 sometimes i get 150 sometimes it's pushing up to 198 and 200 megabits Per second but that's what the speed boost technology that they use um, and I would say that they're the only internet provider in town but I also have Galton River which that is DSL um, that's slow as death 
on downloads, you get 15.98 on our local DSL. But we also have Fiber Channel, and it's competing right now. I'm with my Comcast ISP, which is copper. You know, it's a coax. Um, because they both push up to, well, Comcast, for $300 a month, I can push up to 2,000 megabits per second. Which our fiber channel people, they can only push up to 300 megabits per second. So, for the same price. So, I'm, I'll am i probably be pushing it up. That'd be, that'd be really nice. Then I could live stream with no lag. Which, not, I, I get any kind of lag. I just, I'm not in the, in the live stream era yet here. So, that is the speed test for the Rock Chip 64 single board computer made by Pine64. But you can get those over at pine64.org. And you can just order them directly from the website. They will, you know, if you order one, um, you can select 1 gig, 2 gig, or 3 gigs. Uh, 4 gigs, I'm sorry. 1 gig, 2 gig, or 4 gigs. I always select the ones with 4 gigs. And then I always select either a 32 or a 64 megabit megabyte EMMC chip to put on the board itself. But that's mainly because I'm experimenting with installing games, which I have recently rolled and run across, which is going to be another future video within the next week or two because I've got to test it out and see how it works. But one of my upcoming videos is installing RetroPie on this bad boy and seeing how well that works. But as always, go ahead and click a like in the you know down in the description below. Subscribe and leave some comments. Uh, if there's anything else that you want me you know you want to see, you want me to do, uh, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I'm more than open to you know try more experiments with the you know the single board computers, which I just now found my banana pie. I thought I donated it to Cherry accidentally, and I found it last night. So, you know, I got buying a banana pie back up and going, and I just got in a fresh, a brand new, ah, not a retro pie, a Raspberry Pi, the official Raspberry Pi system with the official Raspberry Pi power adapter. So I'm going to try and run some emulators, like the Dreamcast emulator and the PlayStation emulator and the Nintendo 64 emulator, and see if I get the lightning bolt with the official power cord. But... That has been my video on the Rock Chip 64, and you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah.